People in Beijing have remembered a late political leader who pushed for reform but paid the price. Thursday would have been Zhao Ziyang's 94th birthday. He once held the top job in the Communist Party. Family members and former aides held a quiet ceremony at his home in the Chinese capital. He spent 15 years under house arrest there until he died in 2005. The people who worked with him praised his ideals. He strenuously pushed reform and an open-door policy. He always worked for the general public. His downfall is a great loss to the nation. Zhao was the Communist Party's general secretary in 1989 when the military used force to end protests in Tiananmen Square. Party officials criticized him for expressing sympathy with the student-led democracy movement. They removed him from his post. Authorities kept an eye on the memorial gathering outside Zhao's house. Talking about the late politician remains taboo in China 24 years after the Tiananmen Square crackdown. But other figures are revered. State-run television covered memorials marking the centenary of the birth of President Xi Jinping's father two days earlier. They aired special programs praising the achievements of Xi Zhongshun, who was once vice premier.